untrained eye, Jolene here, just looks like a beautiful horse, but she's actually 200 to 300 pounds underweight. She's now being rehabilitated here at the horse barn boarding stables after being rescued from Born to Fly stables last week. The Miami County Sheriff's Office is investigating the owner of Born to Fly Horse Stables, 26-year-old Dana Coca, after complaints of malnourished horses. Emily Cromer says she and a friend, Heather, saw these allegations of abuse online about two weeks ago. I went out to see myself, and unfortunately, what I saw was not. The Sheriff's Office says it found six malnourished horses, two were dead, three were taken back by their owners, and the sixth is in foster care. I thought she was... I thought I would find different things, and I did not. Those who worked with and knew Coca say she likely became overwhelmed with the duties of running a boarding stable. There were often up to 50 horses being boarded at a time. Now Coca is facing six counts of animal cruelty. Jolene's neck is very thin. Um, her bones are very pronounced. Cromer decided to rescue Jolene from the stable with her friend. And I feel sorry um, for this horse and the other ones that were in the same situation um, that somebody failed them. Ohio's Goddard's law makes cruelty to companion animals a felony, but according to Cromer, that law excludes horses. President Trump recently signed the PACT Act, making animal cruelty a felony nationwide. But it's unclear if Coca will face felony charges for this situation. At the end of the day, I wanted the horse safe. I wanted the horse to be well loved and well cared for. Um, ethically, I wasn't going to turn my back. Jolene has a long road to recovery ahead of her. Emily here says it might take the next six months. And Troy, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.